Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we are playing Giants again. So Uro is gone, there's no reason to be playing blue, uh, but we're playing all four colors instead of the five colors uh, with Giants. And so the main reason to be playing Giants, if you guys haven't known about this card, are you coming in a little bit newer to the game, whatever, then Realm Cloak Giant is a sweet adventure card that not many people see actually. And so you may not have seen it yourself, it's a mythic card, but cast off. Five mana, destroy all non-giant creatures. So all giants stay on the board. Everything else that's a creature dies. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. That means that we can be, you know, we can, we can do this on turn five. We play out like uh, Bone Crusher Giant. We play out Tectonic Giant. We uh, Realm Cloak Giant, destroy their board, swing in for free with a bunch of damage. And then we get to do it the next turn if we have another one, that kind of stuff. So it's good, basically. That's, that's as much reason as we need to play a tribal deck is this kind of a spell it's one sided board wipe is a very very powerful thing uh and so that's basically the idea of this deck is we have a one sided board wipe we're gonna play it cool things happen um we ha also have um croxa in the deck this is like the one reason we're going into black right now I, I don't know if it if we should like honestly all the best giants right now that we have are in red so we have bone crusher giant scattershells charger which is more of like a five mana, uh, five drop here as well, because you have to ha be able to kick it in order for it to stay on the battlefield. But then we have uh, the Mecha Godzilla, uh, which is also a giant. The Crystalline Giant is what its uh, other other side of it is. Here, I'll show you. In case you haven't seen it, this one. Uh, but yeah, I, li I like the Mecha Godzilla. It's the only like card art I, I usually stick with the Godzilla version. It's just really cool. Uh, anyway, Tectonic Giant is one of the really, really powerful giants too that I feel like is always overlooked. It's it's such a good card, but there is like it doesn't have enough immediate upside, which is always the biggest issue of cards in general. They don't have enough immediate upside. Drats. Dies to removal. Drats. Anyway, uh, so basically the idea of this deck is uh, I wanted to go deeper into green to be able to ramp up to everything, but it just didn't feel right. We had so many red cards, and we wanted to go into four color. I wanted to go into four color. And so I wasn't really able to squeeze too much more in here besides just Beanstalk Giant for ramp. Uh, and I think that it's a, it's one of the most easily splashable cards ever. It only takes one green for both sides of it. It helps fix, it, fix mana for other colors. So if you have one green, but you don't have the colors that you need, like a second red source, this can go find it for you. You know, it's just, it's a really powerful powerful really good card that you can splash real easily so we're splashing for beanstalk giant we're splashing for croxa and then we're basically splashing white for realm cloak giant as well we have more white in there but uh so basically we just have to have a lot of red sources i i'm not so sure how this mana base is going to work out i'm i'm gonna try using all the pathways instead of uh tap lands which may be wrong just because we have a lot of two drops anyway you know we're, we're kind of playing on turn three with this so i that's something i might change out i wanted to test this out just because with going into four color it's one of the few times we get to play all of the pathways here uh and so we get to have like need leverage pathway we get to have uh crack corn crown pathway uh we have what's the other pathway that has red mana as well uh, i think those are, those are it but like then we have fable pass to go find some stuff so we do have quite a few red sources that's not enough red sources is it that's definitely not enough red sources all right trim here trim here add some temples you and let's see where's the red black one do we not have a red black one why is there not a red black one there it is there we go all right, now we have these temples in there as well. Life's great. Let's go ahead and jump to the gameplay, see how it does for us, Ed, which we like. We're up against Grumplepuss. All right, Grumplepuss, bring it on. And we'll keep this hand. I like this hand. It's a grand hand. Vervin Champion. Down to 19. Uh, Cinderplasm looking really good, really splashy right now. We'll keep that, fast turn. Driven champion number dose. Do they have number three? No. Of course they don't. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Alright, well. <laughs> Cinderplasm. Yeah, kill your entire board for two mana. Oh, that feels good. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes like this card a lot swing in just hit a land you know you want to ha <laughs> all 
All right, let's go ahead and throw out the uh, Fable Passage for now. Uh, and Thundering Rebuke, I guess. I guess I should have waited to hold on to that for um, some other stuff, but... Because we could have gone, like, Cinderclasm and tried to get something else on their turn. Um, but if it was a Torbrand, then we're kind of using it uselessly. But then we also could have used instead the other stuff. Anyway, let's go for another black source so we can get back Crocs at some point. Uh, we have white source, green source here if we need them. We probably do need to throw out white source at some point here. Um, green, we can wait to play out though. So play this, play giant for now. We'll Crocs it on a later turn. We don't have enough stuff in the graveyard for it to be really worthwhile. Okay, souls here is I think the only card they can really kill us with unless they have shock and something else kill tectonic giant which then we get extra value out of it anyway so this is whenever it attacks hmm. all right go croxa it's sort of a shock interesting mecha godzilla is not bad a threat is nice here um, I'd like to find the board wipe or something, some other removal, but I actually think we can get them here with the Cinderclasm anyway, so pass the turn. I mean, so they're hitting for four, we're hitting for a lot more, but we are at 13 at the moment. So I guess I block. And then Cinderclasm. There's one damage to it, it's dead. And that fills up more space for Croxa. We like Croxa. Croxa's great. Croxa's really difficult for Mono Red to deal with. Alright, put this on a white source so we can have the board wipe eventually. Yeah, that feels good. I feel good. Ba -na 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 -na. This doesn't ever give haste, right? I feel like that's a weird thing. They never had haste as one of the keywords. Because that's like one of the number one keywords. But it would be an overly busted keyword to have like tons of. So I get it, I suppose. Pass turn. Scoop him up. Scoop him up. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, that felt real good, real, real good. Well, I'm so glad that we added in our temples and that we added a bunch of red sources so that we can play hands like this that have zero of those things. I mean, we have Beanstalk Giant with this one. If we find an untapped source, we get some ramp, and we can go for Realm Cloak Giant, like, which is not bad. We can dig for the Croc set. Like, so this is still a hand that we keep, but it is a little bit awkward, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, we need to find an untapped land. Hey, there you go. Alrighty then. Uh, fifth land. Actually, I'm going to keep that just because it fills the graveyard a little bit more for these Croxes. We get another scry on the next turn too. Alright, Temple of Triumph. Um, more removal. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We need removal after the Realm Cloak Giant. If they don't play anything before too long, then we just kill the one thing, I guess. They create an insect, but that's fine. Are they stuck on one land? Okay, never mind. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's late, and that's all. Okay, down down pretty low. All right, sweet. So they're making a big sixes, six, sixes and things. Uh, so we have to kill them before too long. That's, that's good to know. White source here. We can find the other white sources with the Evil Passage. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and go for the white source here. Beanstalk giant. Grab a black source. Pass the turn. Great hench. Not great. I mean, well, it's pretty great, but you know. Uh, that is that is an issue. That means that we're not going to be able to like just overcome them very easily here. All right, fable passage. Uh, we already have our white sources. Let's go ahead and grab, um, I guess just a mountain here. 
So, cast off. Cast the turn. Uh, not having two black sources means it's going to be a lot harder to bring back Croxa. Like, we don't have two basic lands. Uh, we do have a few ways to find our second black source, or like a few other lands, but going for a color, I'm not so sure is great in this format right now. We could play a ton of temples, but we already are seeing how slow that is. All right, how many things are in the graveyard here? Two more creatures. All right, play Croxa. A little bit annoying, Savaging Ooze uh, gets to go for this right away. I guess I could have forced him to not steal the Croxa here. Whatever. Alright, next time we get the Beanstalk Giant. They're getting rid of a lot of removal and stuff, so this is fine. Um, hmm. And the Scavenging Ooze is going to be annoying, though. Alright, pass the turn. Yep, yeah, eats the Croxa. Doesn't eat one of their own. Intriguing. Swings. Really wishing this was instant speed. There's the other black swords for the Croxas. Uh, for now, we go... White source here, Roam Cloak Giant. Beanstalk Giant can be bigger. Uh, are we just dead on board? Yeah, we're just, oh wait, not quite. Love Shook Beast can't swing in just yet. Removal, we're dead. All right. All right, we have Cinderclasms. Um, basically nothing else on this hand, right? So we mulligan. I mean, the Scry would have been pretty nice. This is better. Yeah, we can keep this. Oh man, I want to keep Double Beanstalk for more ramp. In case all goes to crap, but I guess we can drop Tectonic Giant. I uh, will put one to the bottom. Okay, play Mountain, pass the turn. All right, so we do hit our red sources or our, our Thorthiv. Um. Let's go Maze Mind Tome. Pass the turn. The one copy of Maze Mind Tome I think will be pretty nice here. Cycles for zero. Okay. Really needing that land here, I guess. Interesting. Whoa, Strider. Whoa. Uh, yeah, we'll keep land. Now we don't need to scry on our upkeep. Uh, so let's go with a white source here so we can have the Realm Cloak Giant. Beanstalk Giant here. Fable Passage can grab us our other one. Um, and so let's go for red source. We don't get any black sources. But yeah, I think we need the other red source still. Pass the turn. They might be digging for the lands here. They You always take the, the one with two cards. But, I mean, Ghost Rider in the graveyard is not the worst either. So maybe I should have switched, switched it up a little bit there. Made her think about it. Like, put a pathway and the Ghost Rider in hand. Eh, whatever. Um, so we're already going to get to our other stuff. Um... So we actually don't want to go for the Rune Cloak Giant just yet. I, I think we want some more threats, though, or a black source here. So, draw. Thunder and Rebuke. Go to main phase. Play Giant. Play Fable Passage. Pass the turn. I really like Maze Mind, Maze Mind Tome. It's a cool card. Menace, I can keep getting in with Archeress. That's fine. They probably know what we're playing now.
So until the end of our next turn, we can play something. Um, yeah, I guess more card draw is nice. If it's a land, it's pretty sweet. All right, Rome Cloak Giant. Now they know not to play anything else out, but that might stop them from doing too much more. They might hold up like a counter spell. But that's okay too. We're gonna go ahead and crack the field passage now, uh, just because uh, maze my tome. I don't want it to get shuffled around here. So down to eleven. Scry. More lands isn't bad now. Bigger, bigger things is good. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Oh gosh, go to main phase. Yeah, wipe the board. Unless they have a counter spell. Saxon starts scrying. That's cool. We get to gain four life here soon. This is really an intriguing deck. I'm still trying to figure out what it is. It's got to be some sort of reanimate deck, I think. Does hit Planeswalkers. So we can kill it with Bone Crusher and the Rebuke. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and scry now. Gain some life. We can kick that and hit for five with Trample and Haste. That's a different option. Let's go ahead and keep it on top. I'm not sure if we're going to go for it this turn, but it's a thing that we could do. So we'd hit in for two. It gets bounced. So Thundering Rebuke hit you. I sense you. Um, it'd be great to be able to go for Beanstalk Giant here as well, but we don't quite have enough mana. I will be safe. Having lots of extra cards with Adventure is so nice. Or we are playing out stuff, but we still have six cards in hand, basically. I mean, a lot of them are really expensive. We can only play so many on a turn, but it's awesome. It looks like this deck does win through damage as well, so having multiple cast-offs will be nice. Whoa, Strider. Whoa. Land? Not a land. Goes to sack again. So this is just like soul time mid range, I guess. This might have been a little bit too early to go greedy with this, but I think that if we can survive until we can start hitting like our big threats with beanstalk giant, this stuff, we can get to our extra lands, which we just lost two more, I think. There. Oh, we lost another realm cloak giant with the mill. Found a conundrum. That does slow down our Beanstalk Giant plan. Hmm. So we can't use Beanstalk Giant right now. Is it better just to go for the Scatter School Charger? I feel like they have some sort of removal. Uh, it enters the battlefield with it, and so Heartless Act won't work at least. All right, let's go ahead and go for it. If they want to counter this, like this is not the best spell for them to counter as well. It does have Trample. I mean, so it's not bad. Well, crap. We're screwed. Sounds good. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, there is something to be said about just using the Beanstalk Giant to bring a land to hand, because we're fine having lands. We just want to hit the seventh land. So having it go to our hand might have been okay. 
so I could probably go to Beanstalk Giant, played it out, Bone Crusher Giant, had to land in hand so we can play out a big dude. Uh, another British Creature Shark. I'm actually liking what they're playing here. Just a Sultai good stuff. Woe Strider is good. I've never really played it just as like the threat, but it actually gets in for lots of damage. And there's Mutate. Whoa now. All right, play Bone Crusher. Um, we have to block Racious Great Shark or else we're dead. They have removal in hand. They're saying good game. And that's game. All right. All righty. All right, up against E-Hawk. I'm bringing on E-Hawk. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. This is sweet. All right, it looks like opponents probably, um, oh, they are still here. What? They totally got me. Pass the turn. All right, the Crack Crown Pathway is our favorite land because it's always red, basically. Stomp you. I, Bogus Giant is awesome. The more it turns that Mecha Godzilla can be out on the board, the better. We have reach. All right, that's the worst one we could have got, but we got it. <laughs> All right, we want Death Touch, Trample, Menace, First Strike, Flying. Those are the five we want. And plus a plus one counter. And Vigilance. Reach is like the worst possible one. All right. That's cool too. All right, go for the White Source. Uh, Three Tectonic Giants in a row is not bad. That's pretty good against red. I think now we probably just go all in with damage. If they target it, we get to throw damage at face. So this is just like a burn deck all of a sudden. We find Black Source, we get to put in more damage as well. All right, Thurman Champion. Attack in. Three damage. Down to 17. They could double block. Down to 14, play another one. Play out more red mana, pass the turn. I mean, Embercleave is terrible here, but we also get to swing in for 12 points of damage. Another Bone Crusher gives us lethal. I was debating on bringing in like Castle Embreath as well, but going four color is just so hard to do. I have been impressed with the pathway so far, uh, with the versatility. It's actually been pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty nice stuff right there. Well, I said I like these, but not this many of them. One-sided board wipe still sounds pretty nice. Do we just wait until they have Ember Cleave and can kill us here? That doesn't sound great. We could also draw cards. We still get six points of damage in. All right, well, Tectonic Giant number three. Let's just do that first. If their Ember Cleave doesn't kill us, we just kill them. Is it worth trading off with these guys right now? I guess so. Trade here, trade here. We get in for damage, we get to kill two things. They get a bunch of satyrs, but satyrs don't really, they can't take care of the other tectonic giant. Yeah, let's just get for damage. It's a little bit weird, but I think this is the right play. It's risky for sure, but I usually like to play with a little bit of risk. You yeah, know, risk is a fun game as well. This also means that if they have an Ember Cleave, uh, losing a lot of their board really hurts them because then they're not a threat anymore. Um, at the same time, though, Annex will be able to 14. Like, they still don't quite have lethal anyway. But could we have another Bone Crusher in hand? Yeah, so you have to block, so you go for it. Kill both. Try to reset the board. See if your three cards can be our one card in the end. And it's probably pretty likely. They're going to get in for... 10 here. Stops her face. Not Tectonic Giant. Okay. Alright, we're almost at 7 mana. Big Giant would be nice. Uh, we need the other white source for other stuff as well, though. <clears throat> Alright, Croxa. Croxa. <coughs> 
gets rid of a shock. Bone Crusher Giant. Castle Embereth is really bad. Ember Cleave is also pretty bad. Um, we swing in, they just block with the Bone Crusher. We get him down to five. Yeah, so not worth it. It wouldn't be bad if we could draw cards here, but now we have mana for the Beanstalk Giant or something like that. We'll be four cards in the graveyard. I think they really missed out on the opportunity to swing in. I guess I guess they probably would have died if they had swung in last turn. Robber the Rich. We have Cruxes in hand, right? All right. Target Intimidator, so they can't actually gain a card. Oh, wait, no, this is in the graveyard. Well, White Source. I get to find two cards. If one of them is a board wipe here, totally worth swinging in for. If they don't, they have Castle Embereth. I think we actually have to swing in. All right, let's let's think this through. There's so much upside in finding the the cast off right now before they can go for Castle Embereth and like all the bad things happen. All right, Beanstalk Giant's also not the worst. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Yeah, blocks and pumps. Play out an 8-8. Eight, eight. Pass the turn. Oh, I really would love that cast off. Fervent Champion. I mean, now you have to go all in, but also hold back blockers. And hope we don't find Bone Crusher. You've got to be swinging, man. I know you want to play safe, but that's not the right way to do it. You should be swinging with these six at least because we can't actually block the fervent champions very well with the castle and breath going i mean i'm fine with it here i'm not really complaining it would have been nice to use that to find the black source as well though uh played out so they can't use the robber of the rich pass the turn come on we've dug we found so many lands stop it they, they found quite a few as well i guess that's not that many but all right, Charger with Kicker. So in hindsight, we should have held back with the Tectonic Giants. I, I think that having those on this board state would have been really nice. I mean, Annex, they probably could have just been trading off all day long, building enough of these guys and swinging in. Luckily, they haven't been swinging in. Uh, if we swing here, they block here. They could double block and Castle and Breath. So yeah, no, pass the turn. Did you find the Ember Cleave? Opponents counting their attackers. Thundering Rebuke. We take two from killing this, but I think that's fine. All right, Black Source or Cast Off. Either one just wins us the game immediately. Removal slows the game down more, which is is okay with me. Pass the turn. Scoops it up again, or passes up again. Alright, for it all, footsteps. Alright, Crox is going to be sweet here. Uh, that puts on a lot of pressure. Croxa. Exactly enough for the Croxa. And then Beanstalk Giant number two coming down next turn. This is another big threat. Takes it down to five. No attacks, pass the turn. I, I probably should be swinging with the Beanstalk Giant every turn. Uh, get rid of a, a blocker. Um, yeah, so that, that turn I probably should have swung with the Beanstalk Giant. We still got there. Sweet. Are up against Harukami, and so far I've actually been okay with how these lands have uh, worked out. Uh, we have Croxa mana, so we keep. Uh, so we have to have two red sources for the Cinderclasm, though. All right, so go red source. Start with red, pass the turn. Red's always pretty safe here, although we do have more of it. Ooh, there's a black source. All right, cracks. Uh. So 
Spikefield Hazard can be annoying as well. If they do have just extra mana and one of those in hand, uh, as one of these sacks, it can exile it instead. All right, go Kraxa. And Redose. Let's see if they have it now. Thalmire Knight, so Rakdos or something. Um, I guess we go for the other black source while we know that we need it, right? And kind of see what we need between those. I'm fine waiting on our green sources. So yeah, let's go ahead and add the black. Get us closer to a Croxa at some point. I mean, we're so far away from cards anyway, but... Discard two cards. Uh, Cinderclasm and... Cinderclasm? What have we seen so far? Yeah, I guess Cinderclasms. And I really want more red mana so we can actually play our stuff. We haven't seen any creatures. Like, there's a lot of cards that we just can't play if we don't have our red mana out here. Cast off is the only thing that we can play with white mana, right? So we go for the red mana, pass the turn. This is probably also a Croxa deck. Found my knight. That is annoying for us a little bit. All right, a creature. Creatures are great. This could get flying, first strike, things like that to give over the Thalmar Knight. So do we put priority here? It probably just gets discarded anyway. Uh, we'll see, pass the turn. Wrinkle. All right, let's see if they force us to discard. Now they can just make a sacrifice here too. All right, well, if this dies, we still get to bring back the Croxa, so this is okay. Death Touch. Really not a fan of the black inscription. Um, maybe it's like a one of. It just feels really expensive for the things that it does. Oh, we've gotten rid of so much removal. Make a sacrifice a creature. Yeah. Ugh. We can go for a really big beanstalk giant. Which does nothing. Oh, now that we have a land in the graveyard. Actually, uh, I guess we, we go for the Croxa here. Alright, go for planes. Play Croxa. Exile things from the graveyard. Land. Um, I guess we'll keep the creature. So now this only gets plus two. Plus one. Slows them down a little bit. Removal. Please, deck. I know we drew a bunch in the early game. Just, just another one, please. There's a Kraxa. We take three. We take a lot. Down to five. Oh, that's bad. And we also like have to keep our Kraxa back to block now. I guess Beanstalk Giant's bigger and better and more awesome. So removal, then we can't play Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, that's game, unfortunately. And concede. Rats. Huh. We have Bone Crusher Giant. If we find a land, we can actually have a pretty sweet curve here. And then just hopefully find other stuff. We have 26 lands in the deck. So like the odds of finding that is pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and keep this. Play a mountain out. Pass the turn. It, it's definitely going to be an awkward hand if we don't find the lands. But again, 26 lands. We should. There's a white source. Uh, let's go ahead and play out the white source because we know we want that at some point. Pass the turn. All right, one more land and this hand just looks sweet. I guess we take this. See if they play a Kargan Intimidator guy. Yeah. 
kill him. All right, now we can play our other red source, Bone Crusher Giant. Pass the turn. Hard to deal with. If they swing in, we know they have a shock. Okay, rolling eruption takes two to the face. Hits us. Honestly, this is where Tectonic Giant really shines, is against modern red decks. Uh, because hopefully they have to play multiple things to really get up to us. Um, all right, man. Black Source is always nice to have. If we find Crocs, I'm going to want to have that. Let's see here. We can. All, we, there's more green sources in the deck, so let's go ahead and throw this out for white for now. Uh, giant. This lets us have a chance to go for the Realm Cloak Giant soon. Or just Kicker Skull Smasher is not bad either. If they don't play enough threats here. Yeah, go ahead and send two uh, two spells my way. I'm fine with that. We'll draw two cards. Or deal six points of damage back. We might go aggro here. We'll see. There's a Croxa. All right, so they get a few guys out. Um, we can wait one more turn for the Realmcloak Giant. The Embercleave, getting, making sure the Embercleave doesn't come out could be nice, though. Um, and we have two of them, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, swing in. Check out the top card of our library, top two. Fable Passage to get for other red source. Yeah, let's do that. Down to 15. What you got, sir? Opponent finally decides to swing in. Yeah, I mean, you got to do that regardless, right? Or most likely. Unless you have some sort of hasty creature. It might just be like Bone Crusher Giant playing Mount. Do you have a land? I don't know if they played a land already this turn or not. I don't think so. Doesn't have it. So wait. Um, I guess we go for a Charger here instead. Can we just start going aggro. We can hit for 11 here. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think we go face. I know drawing more cards is better, but I mean, this this starts becoming a lot of damage really quick. All right, that felt great. We've really taken it to Mono Red with this deck. I think like all the other decks have destroyed us, but man, we got Mono Red good. All right, so we actually finished kind of with a better record than I expected. 50% uh, win rate with the deck, uh, which is not too shabby. By the way, MTG Assistant here has some uh, stats for you if you ever want to look at them, which is pretty nice to have. So that's uh, in the description down below if you guys click on it. Uh, I do get a little bit of a kickback if you download, which the download is completely free. So it's just another way to support the channel if you guys want to. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, we got three wins, three losses, uh, and... Yeah, I think that the deck is okay. I mean, we, we basically beat the same deck over and over again. And when we got Tectonic Giants out, we did pretty well. Um, when they kind of stuck. Croxas also were really good. Like, we actually did resolve getting Croxa out onto the battlefield, I think, twice. Uh, and so the deck is able to do that. Uh, we're able to do all of the things we want to do with the deck. Was four colors kind of awkward with the deck? Yeah. Did I Was I happy with the pathways on getting there? I, I'm glad I made the changes that I did with the extra little... Tr uh, temples and whatnot but yeah i was actually pretty impressed with just the mana base which is surprising within itself because this is a, such a clunky janky uh mana base but it worked out so anyway I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much and bye, -bye.